The Rising People's Party said that Nagaland Chief Minister Nepiru has allegedly fooled the Eastern Nagaland People's Organization, ENPO, stating that the latest uproar, which stems from the filing of nomination by NDPP BJP candidates in various urban local bodies (ULBs) of Eastern Nagaland, is believed to have been orchestrated by Nagaland Chief Minister Nepiru after the issue of Frontier Nagaland Territory (FNT) was scuttled. Meghalaya Deputy Chief Minister in Charge Home Police Preston Tinsong appealed the Hinyo Tribe National Liberation Council HNLC to resume peace talks, stating that the door for negotiation and discussion is still open for the members. Tinsong's appeal comes after a sleeper cell of the band outfit was dismantled on the evening of June 11. Speaking to reporters on the issue, Tin Song said that the law will make its own course regarding criminal activities which are committed by anyone, not just by HNLC, adding that he will not comment on the arrest of HNLC cadres but will wait for the law to take action. Several Indians are among 35 people killed in a massive fire in a building in Kuwait's Mangav, according to reports. The building in which the fire occurred was used to house workers and there was a large number of workers there. Dozens were rescued, the police officials said. Around 40 people have been hospitalized, the reports added. Assam Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sarma today announced that the state government will provide monthly stipends to girl students through a scheme, Nijud Moina, which aims to combat early marriage among girl students, inspiring them instead to pursue the education up to the postgraduate level. Informing that the girl students who enroll themselves in institutes for higher education will receive monthly stipend from the state. Sarma said under the scheme, girl students who join class 11 and 12 will get a monthly stipend of Rs 1,000. Students joining graduation courses will receive a stipend of Rs 1,250, while girls who enroll themselves for postgraduate course will be given a monthly stipend of Rs 2,500 from Assam government. Chief Sena Yubiti Chief Udav Thakre today asked whether Prime Minister Narendra Modi will visit Manipur after RSS Chief Mohan Bhagwat's remark on the situation in the northeastern state. The former Maharashtra Chief Minister also sought to know what was the difference on the ground after the abrogation of Article 370, which provided special status to Jammu and Kashmir. Lives are being lost. Who is responsible for the terror attacks in Jammu and Kashmir? Udav Thakre asked. Hamas has responded to the U.S.-backed three-phase ceasefire proposal for Gaza, seeking amendments. Hamas has reiterated long-standing demands not met by the current plan. The response received by mediators Qatar and Egypt falls short of an outright acceptance but keeps negotiating ongoing amid the eighth-month war. Israel, however, sees the response as a rejection. Following weeks of speculation, Eric Tin Hag will continue as Manchester United manager after the Clutis board opted to retain him following a post-season review. Despite an underwhelming 8th place finish in the Premier League, Tan Hag's FA Cup triumph against Manchester City proved crucial. The review initiated right after the Cup final initially saw Ten Hag facing potential dismissal. However, the 2-1 victory shifted the narrative leading to constructive conversations about his future, BBC reported. <laughs>